What is going on everybody and welcome back. In today's video I'm just going to be showing you how to build a few pieces of furniture that I've had to make since I've been recreating modern houses. You're going to see an armchair, a sleek little coffee table, a sofa, and of course the cabinet with the opening and closing doors. So for starters, let's jump right into the sofa. Now almost all of these builds you're going to have to place free-handed. So you're going to have to use a keen eye and just take your time and place them and double check of course to make sure everything's coming out nice and straight. Now the couch is made out of completely the two meter and the one meter wood blocks. You're just gonna wrap around the bottom and then you're gonna wrap around the top the same exact way that you did the bottom. Now this is all open to interpretation as well. I mean of course you could freak it just like I did. You know make it feel however you want. This is just some starter designs for you to get you going. And slap a lox pellet down just to finish it off right there. Now, next we're gonna do the armchair. Now this is the chair where you can sit in two different ways. It's two chairs put into one and then you're gonna make an armchair around it. Now we're gonna contort the base so we can set this thing at an angle because to be able to get the one meter blocks down in the ground like that of course you have to snap onto a crease so we needed an angled crease otherwise it'll be straight and we're gonna make two little U's like that right on top of each other and then we're gonna slap the chairs in there making sure that one of them is sticking farther into the one meter block on the side that way your guy's leg will hike up just like that and you want to make sure that one is more towards the center so it might take a little bit of playing around to get them sitting just the way you want them and boom, and now he's sitting a little more in the center and his leg's still sitting up, he's still chilling. So now we're just gonna finish it up and wrap around the back, try to cover up some of this ugliness. Now it is hard to snap some of these blocks into places, so you just might have to pop the chairs out like I did and get them to snap in where they're supposed to be and they look a little better that way. And then just to cover up the ugliness, let's slap one more over it. And bada bing, it's done. Now next is gonna be the coffee table. Now to be able to build a coffee table in Valheim, you're gonna need it real close to the ground. So we're gonna sink a couple blocks in the bottom and then we're gonna place one off of that, just raised up a little bit because sunk it in the ground like that is a little too low. So we wanna jack it up just a little bit and get it square right in front of the couch, of course. But you put your four down, four little one meter blocks down, and then you're gonna go right over top of it with the little square one meter bottom boards, and boom, you have yourself a little coffee table, just like that. No sweat, take you two seconds. And then of course we got the cabinet. Now we're gonna get a couple, a little base going off of the one meter square blocks, and then we're gonna frame it out just like that into the wall. And of course we're going to use the gate door now when you open this it's going to glitch through the wall a little bit and clip but that's okay as long as you keep it closed most of the time you're not going to see it sticking out the back unless of course you have a double wall or something which will hide it only sticks out a little bit but we're just going to continue framing it all the way around and then we're going to take and we're going to have to use the two meter blocks and one meter blocks to plug up the side because the boards because the actual wall boards themselves are too long. And of course, this is all freehand just to remind you, so you can get it as straight as you want and as little amount of gaps as you want. You just gotta use a little bit of patience. And boom, and once you got the sides all closed up, we're gonna be on to slapping some shelves inside, which of course you're gonna use the shift click again to get it spaced in there far enough away from the door that when you close it your shelves aren't going to be sticking out through the front of the door like that. So then you're just going to put as many rows as you want in there and then slap up some item stands and fill it with items. Of course I went with potions because you know they're shiny and it looks pretty. But unfortunately I can't show y'all everything all at once. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already to catch part two of how to build modern furniture in Valheim where I'm going to show you how to make seamless tables like that that are double layered so you can hide item stands and you don't have to see those obnoxious little corners and you can make these tables any way you want and that's just one of the things that will be in the next. So I appreciate y'all stopping by and checking out the video. 
Don't forget to hit the like button for me, and I will catch y'all in the next one.